Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 19th through the 25th of November, 2023. I hope everybody's well. I wanna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Pisces out there. If you do find that that's a situation for you, you may check your other signs and placements, see if those readings resonate a little better. Please keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. It's really not unusual in a general reading. And as always, Pisces, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that is just not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Pisces? Pisces. All right, Pisces, you are starting out with the Nine of Pentacles reversed. We have the world in reverse and the moon in reverse. So something has been revealed to you, Pisces, something that may have been hidden. This could be an epiphany that you're having as well. It is creating a sense of loss um, or insecurity or both. I feel like there's unfinished business with regard to whatever this is. So let's see who's in your energy. Show me who's in Pisces energy, please. All right, so the person who's in your energy has the Nine of Cups in the reverse, Seven of Wands in the reverse, and the Star card. All right, so the person that's in your energy, they're not getting what they're want. They, ugh, my words aren't coming out fast enough. They're not getting what they want in this situation either. Um, I do feel that they're feeling a little bit powerless right now. They don't want to have conflict with you. Um, and they're actually a little bit hopeful. So let's see the energy between the two of you. Knight of Cups in the reverse. So you're both holding back emotions here. It's almost like a, a little bit of a standoff, it looks like. But this person doesn't want that, and you don't feel like things are finished between you either. So what's affecting this connection? You're both holding back. I feel like you you are hoping this person comes forward with some sort of emotional um, energy towards you. But they're holding back. What's affecting this connection? Four of Cups in the reverse. You both have each other's attention. Um, there could be a missed opportunity that's taking place here. But I really honestly, Pisces, feel like neither of you want that to happen. So let's see your outcome at the end of the week. Wow, I don't even know where that card went. It went flying. Hold on just a minute, Pisces. I've got to find that card. That's highly unusual halfway across the room. King of Cups in the reverse. Interesting. So at the end of the week, I do see that you're both still holding back. I do also have to bring out that every all of the cards in this, this spread, except one, is in the reverse. And... You know, I did thoroughly shuffle, so there's a karmic lesson or a karmic cycle that's taking place here. Um, what I'm seeing in the outcome at the end of the week is that you are both holding back, but there's definitely feelings here. It's almost like you're watching each other. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. So you're both being very patient, waiting to see what the other person's going to do. Interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, why is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? All right, we have the Page of Cups reversed, more holding back of that energy. Five of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, you'd like to reconcile with this person. You're definitely feeling a loss here. I feel like some of you may feel this person owes you an apology or perhaps that you owe them an apology. I do see the energy of you hoping for reconciliation, though. Why is the world in reverse? You're, you're definitely still hoping this, you know, or have this person in your energy. 
And I can see that things are not over between the two of you. Five of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Now this time the Nine of Pentacles is in the upright. So I do feel that, um, I do feel like there's been some conflict here. The conflict is what's not over. Um, you're showing up here is very single and it does look like, you know, your money is, is good. There's a, there's a sense of you having a glow up going on, but this conflict is what isn't over yet. So there's been conflict with this person. Why is the moon in reverse? This conflict is what caused you to be single as well. Why is the moon in reverse? What was revealed? Show me what was revealed. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Water sign is very, very prevalent here. Um, there it is again. Uh, it could be another Pisces like yourself or a Scorpio or a Cancer. Cancer is very strong, by the way. All right, Queen of Cups in the reverse and the Magician, sign of Gemini. Okay, so you definitely have feelings for this person, but you're holding back hard. It may be due to the conflict that is between the two of you. At the same time, I feel like you're manifesting for them to come towards you. This has kind of put you in a lower vibration, and it's almost this energy, Pisces, of you kind of faking it till you make it kind of energy. It's like you're fronting that everything is fine, that everything's good, and you do have a glow up. I mean, your money's good, you're looking good. Um, and that's a fact, but you're also, whatever this conflict was caused some insecurities here and it caused you to sharply, sharply draw back in your energy, especially with regard to love. I do feel like you could be dealing with a karmic, uh, partner here. And I mean, that's whether it's a karmic soulmate, um, or just a karmic lesson. It could also be a karmic lesson with regard to love. But you're manifesting this person and you're manifesting, you know, things to be transparent and open between the two of you. Let's look at their energy. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? You, however, are not emotionally available towards them, even though you do want this reconciliation. It's like you're, there's a little standoff that's going on and you want them to come to you. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? Two of Wands reversed and the Four of Coins. So they chose to go in another direction and yet they're still holding on to you. Hmm. You'd like the reconciliation, so I get it. Um, this person went in another direction, but they haven't let you go at the same time. So... Why is the Seven of Wands in reverse? They don't want to fight. I can see that. And there has been conflict. We have the Page of Swords reverse. And we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So they're trying not to think about you. But at the same time, it's that same energy. I'm going in another direction. I'm not going to think about Pisces at all. But yet they're holding on to you and they're checking up on you. They're looking to see, do they have your attention? Are you, are you, you know, walking towards them? Are you coming towards them? Are you still upset? So, it's that back and forth energy. It, this person, their, their behavior is very conflicting. They are trying not to fight, and they're feeling extremely powerless in this situation. Why is this star here? I feel like you don't know what this person's doing. They don't know what you're doing. All right, we have the sun in reverse. And we have the star again. <clears throat> they have no idea what's going on with you. They have absolutely no idea what's going on with you. But they're still hoping that there's, there's something that can be here between the two of you. They're not happy. They're really not happy. They're feeling powerless, unhappy. They didn't get what they wanted in the situation. But it looks like they're the ones who chose to go in another direction. Their plans um, between the two of you did not come to fruition. 
So it looks like they decided to free themselves, but <laughs> at the same time, they have not let go of you at all. There could have been other options involved. Why is the cup, uh, Knight of Cups in reverse? You're both holding back emotionally. But if they were the ones who chose to go in another direction, I'd fully get that. I understand that. Yeah, Two of Cups reversed and the Hierophant. So I'm wondering here, Pisces, if you were looking for a committed connection with this person and they chose to go in a, in a different way because they didn't want to give you the commitment that you wanted. I will tell you that this person didn't realize what they had when they had you. It looks like they've initiated the breakup. So but yet they're holding on to you. And they do want to offer love to you, but they're holding back. Why is the Four of Cups here? I, you may be receiving advice from somebody, a spiritual leader of some sort. Could be a tarot reader or a psychic, possibly. All right, we have the Seven of Cups reversed and the King of Cups in the upright. Now, in your outcome... It, the King of Cups is in the reverse. So yeah, you're really fronting that you are doing absolutely fine, that everything is good. You know, you've got this glow up going on. People are attracted to you. However, this conflict is not over between you and this person. I do see that you have deep feelings for them. Um, and I feel like... They have your attention just as well. You're kind of watching them, not as closely as they're watching you, though. They freed themselves from this connection. They don't want to fight, but they feel absolutely powerless now. Um, I am seeing that whereas there was confusion with regard to the nature of this relationship, there's no confusion any longer, and you definitely have their attention. So I do feel like they have, you know kind of narrowed down their options. They're watching to see what it is that you're going to do. There was some sort of deception that was involved in this. So this person could have had other options. So why is the King of Cups in reverse? Show me the outcome. Show me the outcome. Yep, yeah, there's that Three of Cups. All right. So the Nine of Cups reversed. Knight of Swords. And the Three of Cups. Ooh. So you're going to tell this person something about themselves. Neither of you got what you wanted in this situation. You both do have feelings for each other. You're manifesting truth. And you're also manifesting a conversation with this person. But I have to say, Pisces, that you are emotionally unavailable to them. And I do feel that when you come in, your words are going to be rather sharp. They're going to be rather cutting. Um, you're trying to get the truth out of them about something. Yeah, so whatever it is that you, that they had hidden, they think is hidden, because they still believe it's hidden. You know, you already know something, and this is why you've pulled back so sharply. You're now manifesting the, the truth in words. You want a confession here. So it looks like that's why there's a bit of a standoff. They, and you're not getting what you want. I do feel like you, you will hear from this person because it's almost like they are so drawn. They, they can't help but to say something to you, but yeah, you're manifesting, you're manifesting the, uh, the truth. You already know though, whatever this is that they're concealing, you already know. And it looks like it may have to do with a third party, um, for some of you. I do feel like the person that's in your energy, they're out partying now. They're out partying. They're holding back from you, even though they do love you. They do. They're now realizing that they didn't appreciate you when you were in their energy, and they're hopeful that there will be a reconciliation between the two of you, but they just don't know. So by the end of the week, I don't see it clearing up. There could be another argument or a sharply worded conversation. Um, but I don't see either of you getting what you want by the end of the week. 
So whatever this is, looks like it's going to carry out a little bit longer. And the shame of it is, Pisces, is that you both do want the reconciliation. Signs I see, um, I do see Taurus here. Aquarius is very strong. Leo is here. Could be another water sign like yourself. Gemini is here. Bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. Air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And King of Swords indicates a truthful conversation that's going to be had. It's underlying all of this, and that's what you're manifesting. You want the truth. You want everything out in the open, and I don't feel like you're coming towards this person in a loving manner until you get what it is that you want. The two of you are simply not on the same page. And in fact, at times, you're not on the same page with yourself because you want to be just fine. You're presenting to the world that you're just fine, but this is not over between the two of you. So I do feel like, you know, it, it might be a little confusing to this person, their behavior looks a little confusing towards you. But the the bottom line is you both want this reconciliation. I don't see you getting what you want by the end of the week. And I do see you both kind of emotionally shutting the other out. But there's underneath it all is brewing a very truthful conversation. And you're both waiting for that. So they are holding some sort something that they're concealing. But you already know. You just want it to be said. All right, so I've brought back the Angel Answers cards. A lot of people ask me for these, so I've brought them back. If you want to get a question in your mind, I'll see if I can pull an answer for you. So go ahead and compose your question. Spirit, I am pulling for the sign of Pisces. Pisces. Hmm. <laughs> It says, meditation brings answers. So you are being guided to, to calm the mind, to meditate, to, you know, if you communicate with spirit guides to do that. But you need to calm your mind because the answers are already there. You just have to bring them to the forefront. All right. I hope that this has been helpful for you, Pisces. If you have resonated with this reading, please hit that like button. And if you like the way I read and you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and do so. I'd be very grateful. Until I see you in the next reading, namaste.